say that I'm very curious to read the book now because the movie was so compelling. I mean, I cried, I laughed, I really thoroughly enjoyed Thank it. Thank you. Well, I think you, when you read the book, you'll see it's very faithful to the book. Uh, I, I read it when my son was assigned it in the fifth grade. He was 11 years old and we read it together and I was just blown away by how intelligent and incisive it was in terms of looking at what it really happens between a, a boy and a girl at that age. And uh, I love the fact that it was back and forth from both points of view. And my son, Nick, said, you know, this would be a great movie. And I said, absolutely. So we, we were very faithful to the book. Well, and I love that. And Nick was so right because it's the characters that are compelling. And it doesn't matter if it takes place in the 50s or now, those are the same perceptions that we all have about individuals right. on a daily basis and that right. you could relate to. Well, I, I think no matter what the time frame is, we all experience those same first feelings of love, those very powerful, confusing feelings. And so either you're going through it or you have gone through it, and that's why it really appeals to adults and kids. Well, and what about you and your character? True, it is just amazing to, to do this. I thought you did a really, really good Thank job. Thank you. Thank you and so much. It had to be good to you. What did you think about the script and your character? Did you relate a lot to her? Uh, yes, I love the character, Jorley. Um, I was saying before that I've played, uh, <laughs> I've played um, like uh, a bratty teen and all these different things, but most of them are like, you have to be bratty, you know, like an obnoxious teenager. And just to be able to play Julie, I think it's so cool. You can really see the difference between girls nowadays and girls back then. Um, I think she's just so innocent. She was awesome to play. And the script, I loved the script. I thought it was just an amazing story. Um, how the story is on screen, it, it was really cool on paper because you just get like so lost into their their land and, yeah, and where they're from. She can't say it, but she is so absolutely brilliant in the movie. I mean, she, she is, is as good as any actor I've worked with, and I work with some pretty great ones, and you know, Jack Nicholson and Morgan Freeman and, and Tom Cruise and so on. And she is as talented and uh, her facility is as, mm -hmm. as developed as any actor I've ever worked with. He's right, you're really, really good. And she's such a great, she is, she's very sincere and she has a lot of different facets of her personality, which I thought was really good. And we talk, let's talk about a little bit about the casting. I thought the casting was actually perfect. As far as every single person that you cast for this, I thought was just perfect for the role. Well, you know, it, it, when it works, you, you think that. You can't mm -hmm. think of other people to play the part. Uh, all the actors, I mean, John Mahoney is one of my favorite actors mm -hmm. of all time, and he is really the moral compass of the movie, the grandfather, and, uh, you know, uh, Anthony Edwards and Rebecca De Mornay and Aidan Quinn and Penelope Ann Miller, who's absolutely sensational okay. playing uh, uh, Maddie's mom in the movie. And it, it's just, it's a great cast, and uh, like I say, it's, it's a, it got the same sensibility as Stand By Me. I mean, I made it because... Yeah. Uh, when I made Stand By Me, it reminded me of how I was when I was 12 and my friends and so on. This is about the same time period when I was 12 going on 13 and the first time I had those feelings of falling in love. And so it's in that set, in that same time period and has that same sensibility. Well, there's not many movies like this anymore, Rob. Let's face it. I mean, it's like, you know, one of the things I think a lot of the questions people are going to ask you is bring this to the, to the movies now because they're just not character-driven yeah, movies. Especially in the summertime. I mean, you know, Nothing gets blown up in this movie. There are people that, you know, it's... Thank it's, you. Thank you. <laughs> you <laughs> Appreciate know, that. It, it's different, you know, and it's, it's something the whole family can go see. And, uh, uh, you know, we got that Heartland Film Festival Award. It really is mm -hmm. that kind of family values where there is intergenerational. There's three generations and, and each generation can get something different out of it. I think so, too. And, and, and you know what? The, 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 our character in this movie is the tree itself. That had to be pretty fun experiencing going up. Did you really go up that high? Um, not, not that <laughs> high. I, they had a real tree and they had a fake tree. Um, and they, I, I did a lot of it on stage and I did a lot of it just outside the stage on a tree and we would wheel it out. <laughs> and there was like fake leaves and stuff. It was fun. It but was I mean, really it fun. was a part of the character. It was another character in the, in the movie as well. We were talking about the amazing cast. What was it like for you to work with some of these amazing actors? It's so cool. <laughs> it's so cool, like to be able to have all those people in this movie that I didn't even, I wasn't around when they were younger. So uh, it's really cool. They're amazing. All their work is amazing. One of my favorite movies of all time is Legends of the Fall. 
that Aiden Quinn was in. It was it was so cool to work with him. And she also loves horror movies. I love horror movies. So she movies. got to see, she got to work and with I, Rebecca DeMornay. Yeah, I, I saw Rebecca DeMornay's movie, oh, Hand That Rocks the Cradle. I love that movie. <laughs> I, I think they're just all so amazing. It's so cool to be able to see them. It's also funny to see them um, when when they would come into the hair and makeup trailer before they were all <laughs> changed um, into their uh, 60s and 50s clothes. It was cool to see them like transform themselves. It was weird. Isn't that great though? Good yeah, job. Yeah, it's cool. Very nice movie. I really liked it. Thank, Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Very, very much. It was great talking to both of you. Thank you. Thank you.